was gonna have this intro where like a rock and roll band comes in and there's like fog and a bunch of lights coming on, but I can't afford any of that, so here's a picture of an electric guitar at the Rock of Ages venue. Yeah. Cheek Lay! Hey, welcome to Cheek Lay Chat, it's your boy Cheek Lay, and we are back at it again with another Broadway review video. Only this time, we're going to go off Broadway this time. And we're going to talk about a show that was on Broadway for six years, it was on a tour, had a movie, and now it's celebrating its 10th anniversary at the New World Stages. If you guys are a fan of the show, you should be excited because we're going to talk about Rock of Ages. Now, before we get started with today's video, make sure you guys hit the like button. Ooh, that was good timing. Hit the subscribe button and that bell. And with that being said, guys, let's go. Wait, no. Let's rock and roll. Also, can we can we have some like rock and roll music as a background music? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I like this song. Rock of Ages takes place in the 1980s in Hollywood, LA. There's this place called the Bourbon Room, which is where most of the stuff happens. It's like a rock and roll club. They have like a band playing, and there's drinks and good time. There ain't nothing but a good time. You know what I mean? And so during this thing, this love story is between a guy named Drew who wants to be a rock star one day, and it's about a girl who moves from a small city to a big city who wants to be an actress. And while that's happening, things get in the way and then they both end up not being themselves because they don't admit to each other that one of the other is in love, so things get a little crazy. And then like during this whole love thing happening, like, this German man pays the mayor to demolish half of L.A. to recreate a better future, which really made everybody mad and want to protest. So, I'm going to keep it that short and simple because I don't want to spoil everything else. Um, let's just talk about the cast. We're going to start with Drew, who is played by C.J. Eldred. This guy in this show, my favorite singer, hands down. Like, I don't care what anybody else says, Drew is my favorite singer slash actor in the show. I love that he held the notes and I felt like whenever he sang something that he meant something he was enjoyable to watch. The other main character is Sherry played by Christine Scott. Hands down gorgeous. She's just gorgeous. She was just amazing. Says so simple small town girl who just wants to live life and just have a good time and try to find work and she's just so excited in the beginning which makes me love her even more. And she's just full of joy and she was great. I love it. We have Loney, played by Mitchell Jarvis. This guy's mostly narrating the entire musical. He breaks the fourth wall. He brought references about the movie. He literally pulls out a playbill during the entire thing. Like he even breaks the fourth wall a lot at the end of Act One. This guy is just phenomenal. Also, if you guys are confused when I was editing this video, yes, the light bulb did go off. But that's okay, we're still gonna go on. He's this guy who leaves the band called Arsenal, and he just goes into a lot of trouble. He's just not a nice person, and he harasses Sherry, and... But yeah, he did a good job nonetheless. We have Matt Ban, who plays Dennis in the musical. He owns Bourbon Room, and he is just like this hippie dude. He's just so chill, and he, you know, is an influence to Drew. So, I, I really like this guy. He was funny. I love his rock and roll voice. And he was great. I enjoyed it. Then we have Justice, who was played by Jeanette Berdell, and she was amazing. I love it whenever she comes on. She has this, like, presence. Like, stuff is about to happen, serious things is gonna happen, and she's saying every rose has its thorn, and I'm in love. She was amazing. Then we have Regina. Actually, it's pronounced Regina in the show. You'll see why. Actually, you probably know why. She's played by Tiffany Engin, and she was... She used to be a city council, and then she got fired because the mayor has a lot of money now. So, just fires her. Then she starts to protest because she doesn't want anything to happen in the city. She just has determination and drive, and she's crazy, but she's just amazing. Then we have Franz, who's played by Dane Buren, and he plays this German boy who has a father that wants to destroy and demolish half of LA, and he is stuck by, you know, the fact that his father is strict and he feels like he can't pursue for his dream. And his side character is not on as much, but I enjoyed the moments that he was on stage. 
Now I'm gonna spoil everything, but he was amazing. Speaking of his father, his name is Hertz, and he's played by Tom Galantish, and I think he's really German, or maybe he just has a different accent, or he's good at making accents, but anyway, Hertz, he did a good job. I wasn't expecting him to sing that much, but man, he did a good job. And that's pretty much the cast, and then everybody else is an ensemble, and they play different characters, like one was a DJ, the other one is like a producer, the other were like workers and strippers, and uh, yeah. So, this was the exact same theater at the exact same stage that Avenue Q was, and I actually got to see it at the center on the fifth row in the orchestra, and it was a good view. I enjoyed it the entire thing. The rock and roll band was great, and I love the music. Of course everybody knows all the songs. You cannot go to Rock of Ages and not know like five rock and roll songs. You have to know more than five in order to see this musical. Because like, they're iconic first of all, and you have to know it so well so that when you watch the musical, you could tell like how it flows with the book, with the story. And it was really great. The choreography was fierce and sensational. It was also kind of like seductive in a way. And other than this one dancer who was off by a count a little bit in the beginning, you know, she tried to pick it up, but I'm not gonna get too picky on that. Other than that, it was just so fantastic. And everybody during Don't Stop Believing. Guys, if you hate the song Don't Stop Believing, you have issues. You need to see a therapist. But yeah, aside from that, guys, this is a really great musical. I'd give this musical an 11 out of 10, because I was just into it. It's been a while since I've listened to a rock and roll song. So yeah, if you guys have anything you want to say about Rock of Ages, definitely let me know down in the comments below. This musical was planned on closing on October 6th, but it got extended by popular demand, and it's going to be on Broadway. Well, not on Broadway, but... You know what I mean, like at the theater until January 12th. So guys, that's it for today's video. Stay tuned for another Broadway review next week on an actual Broadway show. And with that being said, guys, keep on rocking!